Hey guys, today we'll go to the behavioral disability category. There is iterator disability. Iterator disability is a very commonly used disability in oriented object programming environment. There is disability is used to get a way to accept the elements of a collection of check in sequential manner without any need to know its underlying representation. I remind you that iterator is a button falls on the behavioral button category. And now I will dive into the UML class diagram. Let's see it. In the first, we have a iterator class, and uh, in uh, iterator class, we have a, a lot of uh, methods. The first method to add the first uh, to add the first element in uh, structural. The next to point to the next element eaten method and current item method in the irrigation. We have the Creational, uh, create the reader method. And there we have a concrete air gate and have have the same have the same uh, method with every gate and uh, in there we have the concrete either reader class And in the between, we have the client's class. Client class will use the iterator this Everton, you know. The first, we have the uh, in the concrete area gate uh, inherit from. Aggregate class and concrete method will inherit from the iterator. And client have the direct associate direct association relationship with iterator And concrete have dependency relationship with the uh, concrete irrigation have the uh, dependency relationship with concrete iterator class two. And uh, concrete, yeah, uh, concrete iterator have the um, direct relationship with concrete 
irrigation class yes that's it there is a UML class diagram of a uh, iterator this button and now I will go through the C++ code for implementation uh, iterator class UML um, iterator this button you know the first you can see we have the first the next item and current item method of a uh, iterator class iterator class provide interface that or iterator must implement in a, uh, a setup method for traversing over elements you know for in there we use the abstract class to do it and in the concrete iterator we just to implement the first the next agent and current item method we just to define constant um, constant uh, method in there for un uh, for un um, for unmodified concrete iterator implement the interface and uh, responsible for manage the current position of uh, of the iterator you know and the concrete area concrete area has a collection of objects and element the method that return the iterator for its collection you know here is the constructor and there's overload method and there's a one object of a uh, iterator and this method will return the size of, of this array or ADC the AD function will list the index and you just uh, we, you just to place the uh, list and the count in private for unaccessible and the irrigate class irrigate classified interface for irrigate and, uh, and uh, it uh, decouple your client from the implementation of your collection of an object you know you just to uh, declare the virtual iterator mm, equal the abstract class, you know. And in a man, I define inside variable, and I create a new list. And the list is point to the creation uh, create iterator and I will print the item value and uh, point to the current item in there after that I will uh, delete the it variable this means iterator symbol I will modify 20 element the console will print 20 element we'll modify to 10 Yes, we are uh, suspect. If you uh, want to modify the value of elements, you just to uh, write some method in in there. You know. 
Thank you for watching.